video, I thought I would share my demolding fun with you guys. Because <laughs> it's so fun. This is going to be a, a lamp sconce. This is um, one of my customers has this lampshade that she doesn't like. It's, you know, kind of very retro. <laughs> anyway, so she wanted me to make like a leaf to replace that. So this was my attempt at it, actually. To be honest, this is my third attempt at it. <laughs> the first two I did not like. So anyway, I made this mold kind of myself. It just was a silicone gun. Like I had this leaf and I just kind of drew an outline of it with the silicone, you know, the bathroom sealer stuff on a silicone mat. And it worked for the first first two. I just didn't like the colors at all. So let's see if I'm going to get lucky again. It's going to work. Yeah. I'm kind of trying to preserve this mold because it's kind of nice. I could probably use it for something else, like a tray or something. And it seems to work okay. The silicone doesn't separate. The silicone um, caulking doesn't separate from the silicone mat, which is good in one sense because I can keep the mold. Bad in another sense that I can't use my <laughs> silicone mat for anything else now because it's stuck. Whoops! I just ripped it. So, so much for that idea. <laughs> Oh, I might be able to tape it. Oh, that's funny. It's sticking this time. Ooh. I have to shape this a bit now. I did let it cure overnight, so it is hard. But if I put my heat gun on it, oh, yeah, I'll be able to. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Oh. See, look, the silicone mat stuck to it a bit. I'll have to get that off. Not sure which side will be nicer. I think that side's better. So what I'm going to do is just get, I'm going to lay it like this. I'm going to have to drill two holes in. Lay it like that, and I'm going to hit it with my heat gun, and it'll, it'll shake. She just wants a bit of an oval. Like, here's the other two. <laughs> did not like that. And this one I did not like at all. I still have the silicone on it. Anyway, now... The other stuff, and as usual, I mixed up too much resin. I either mix up too much or not enough, so I end up grabbing some molds. So I've got these, ooh, using the same colors. I just added sparkles. Those turned out nice. Yeah, pretty. So I've got how many of those? Six of those. That's a great big one. I just love making these bookmarks. It's such a great thing to do when you have leftover resin. I, <laughs> I gotta show you. <laughs> yeah. I have leftover resin a lot. They're so pretty. And it's my, what do you call it? The Let's Resin Chunky Glitter Opal. I just love those glitters. They're great. And then I have, I'm going to make, made a couple of pendants. Same colors. Oh, pretty. Yeah. And then just, I had a little bit of sparkle left. See, look at that glitter. You see that? Look at that. I love that chunky glitter. I go crazy over it. There you go. Just a quick little video sharing my fun. Woohoo. I love doing this. It's what gets me out of bed in the morning when I know I got stuff to come and demold. <laughs> I know. I'm not the only one. <laughs> come on. Admit it. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching.